Hello, my name is Anastasia Fokina. I am Chief Financial Officer of Home Credit Kazakhstan, and I've been an uh, associate member of CIMA and CGMA for the last seven years. Current situation of coronavirus caught me on my vacation in Bali, and my flight back to Kazakhstan was canceled. So currently I'm stranded here and cannot come back uh, to my team and join my business. So uh, I'm really amazed how members of my team stood up and uh, be, become leaders and made the transformation of my company possible uh, by quickly uh, changing the liquidity patterns by quickly reducing the sales because you understand that in the crisis cash is a king. So the, the, the biggest uh, challenge of our business is uh, that most of our clients lost their jobs and cannot pay for their credits. So basically what we did for our clients is opportunity to ask for payment holidays in our mobile application within uh, and within several hours to receive reply. However, they still, uh, they're still concerned whether we received their application. They concerned whether we accepted that. So they keep going to call center and our calls tripled to the normal time. So in order to satisfy that demand, we actually retrained our salespeople uh, who have idle time anyway now uh, because our, most of our offline points are closed. So we, uh, we retrained them, we put them to call center so that they could uh, serve our clients uh, faster uh, and keep them calm and uh, peace, which is very important in this time. So what I noticed is uh, that this is a very good test for your team, for your successors, how they, how they reveal themselves, how they become stronger. Uh, I was so impressed and uh, I have big gratitude to my, to my great team whose climate become even, even uh, stronger, understanding that I'm now somewhere uh, on a big distance from them and keeping business in a very good shape. Uh, what advice I would give to other SEMA members is guys, don't give up, keep going. I think now it's an excellent time for finance people to lead the business. This is a time for finance business transformation. So if you're ready for the business that if you're ready for the crisis that would be excellent of course but who would imagine a few months ago that something like that something like this shutdown global shutdown would be possible no one knew so we have to transform ourselves at the moment and we have a lot of tools which sima gave us uh, to control cash to inspire our employees to uh, think of uh, uh, controlling our balance sheet uh, uh, and keep, keeping our, our companies at least not uh, making losses. Uh, and what I would advise for SMEs and for, uh, and for private companies is that try to freeze your cash out, cash out flows, uh, use the opportunities which are now for postponing payments, for uh, refinancing, for postponement, your interest rate payments, and uh, try to be in this frozen position, uh, but don't lose connection with your clients because they really need support and they really need good news. Let you be a good news for them. And think, the most important thing, what your company, what place your company will take after the crisis. How my company can bring value after the crisis end. And then what we get is the, is the strong emotional attachment to our clients because we show them when the crisis comes that we're not only about profit, that we're not, not only about making money, but we're here for them to support them 
in this difficult situation. And that's what I think is a real relationship with our employees, with our clients and uh, with other stakeholders. And that's what gives your business a new meaning and a new vision for you know, not only to survive, but to become stronger when the crisis is over.